put in this mess is starting to create some hazardous road conditions. News Channel 15 meteorologist Rob Leidick is carefully checking them out this morning. Rob, how's it looking out there? Good morning, Pat and Tara. Right now traveling southbound, uh, just got off Union Chapel Road and now getting on to I-69. And as Greg mentioned, we've been watching the temperature reading very closely all morning long. As we get ready to hop on 69 here, I'm seeing 30 coming in on our car. And we got out of the car here within the last 10 minutes or so, and I actually saw some ice begin to accumulate on the front of our car. So uh, you got to be careful out here. We're going to see some of that uh, standing water, which we've seen a lot of this morning. That's going to begin to freeze as these temperatures continue to tumble through the day. So any standing water uh, could become a patch of ice. Also watch out for some black ice as you're traveling out and about this morning and even into this afternoon. We're going to be putting some snow on top of the roads here later on this morning, too. As we pass Parkview Hospital, you can actually see maybe a little bit on our windshield, liquid raindrops hitting the windshield right now. So not seeing the freezing rain at least accumulating on the windshield, but as I mentioned, it is beginning to freeze on the car. Uh, one thing that is concerning, there are a lot of cars that have been uh, passing us going up on 69 that are still trying to go the normal speed limit. That's not recommended. That's not a good idea this morning, especially with these temperatures hovering right around 30 or near freezing. So watch out for more slick patches. We're expecting these road conditions to continue to to deteriorate as we go through the morning. We've got team coverage continuing this morning. News Channel 15's Rod Hissong is live on Coldwater Road with the latest on traffic hazards and road conditions. Rod? Thank you very much, Rob, here on uh, Coldwater Road uh, at Coldwater Crossing. It's cold. You remember yesterday when it was 60 and you could walk around in a sweatshirt? Not the case today. Uh, we can tell you we are seeing some ice build up here along Coldwater Road. Traffic still moving along pretty good at the speed limit as the volume will start to pick up as we get deeper into the morning commute. But the ice on the roads, it will happen very quickly. We have what we'll, uh, eventually we'll call it flash freezing because it gets so cold so quickly that the uh, water that's already on the road surfaces will freeze quickly. Travel advisory already in effect for Allen County, Kosciuszko County, Wabash County, and Wells County. That is an advisory that urges caution to drivers as some roads may be hazardous this morning and we know that they are hazardous. Fort Wayne and West and it will quickly get worse here in Allen County and to the counties to the north along the state line to Kalb County and Adams County as well and perhaps eventually into Northwest Ohio. We've got all the weather information you'll need. We've got all the travel information you'll need and uh, really you can probably search beaches and hot weather on Wayne.com and probably find something nice to look at as well. We're live on Coldwater Road this morning. Rod Hissong, News Channel 15.